だからもしこの場で突然の心臓麻痺で切り絵が死ぬようなことがあったならその他界を心の底からの涙で見送ってくれたはずだ<笑>キリエさんの気持ちになればわかる夫の目の前で殺されたんだぞなのにその夫は自分が殺されたことを忘れてしまったどころか自分の存在まで一緒に過ごし苦楽を共にした日々さえも忘れてしまっているこれほど死者を愚弄する殺し方があるだろうかいやない You know <clears throat> speaking of one piece earlier I guess it is time I dust off a good old speech that perfectly encapsulates what is happening here. The saying of an old beloved doctor that some of you will know. <clears throat> when do you think people die? When they are shot through the heart with a gun? No. When an incurable disease gets them? No. When they drink soup made from a Poisonous mushroom? No! It's when they are forgotten. <laughs> My goodness. Peace did watch One Piece, didn't she? She looked at that speech and converted it as a killing method. In like the most literal way imaginable. ひとが持ち死最も価値の高いものは命と言ってもね他の国々を見ると命の価値は人の持つものの中で上から2番目でしかないんですうん分かるわ命より大事なものそれが尊厳尊厳とは死して名を残る Hmm. In other countries. Does it mean that you peace and your identity is connected to a country that is different from Japan? I mean, looking at the way you are dressed with a crown and the belts and well not the belt, but that stuff that you have. And a cravat as well. It does make you look foreign with that dress, that's for sure. Hmm. Maybe you are British? But yeah, wow. That is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it is true. After life, what do you have? The person's dignity, their reputation, their, like, the changes they made throughout life that would reverberate after their death. Like, through other people that still live afterwards. If you look at world history from anywhere, there are many recorded acts of destroying one's dignity after they pass. However, this is normal by international standards. The bizarre Japanese culture that says, if you settle your debts with your life, I'll forgive you without further criticism. Is such an exception to the rule, such an extreme form of heresy, that I think it might be wrong. Even after death, there are many examples of somebody digging up a grave and destroying not only corpses, but also tombstones and records in the world. Even after the corpse turns to dust, there are any number of examples of destruction of their existence by erasing their records or accounts of their good deeds or otherwise falsifying them. As a result of that, myths are often born. You can destroy someone's dignity hundreds, maybe even thousands of years after their death. 自分の生きてきた意味さえも丸ごと飲み込む。さらにその上、
生きて積み上げてきたものを丸ごと奪い去り自分で上書きする殺されたあげく夫の心からも自分の存在を消し去られ乗っ取られてしまう No methods of killing and desecrating a corpse are sufficient to mention the level of this cruelty. Hmm. You know, this reminds me of some of my final words when the story of Yumineko ended. I mean, same case can be said for stories. Stories have huge impact on everything, like humans, history, etc. I mean, I literally mentioned myths and the true death of a story being when everyone forgets about it. <sighs> Jesus freaking Christ. This bitch took inspiration from my own goddamn speech. From my speech about fiction. <laughs> どうしたピース嫌にご機嫌だね<笑>大好きなあなたと一緒なんでピースご機嫌にもなってしまいますわさああなたそろそろ入りましょう肩を冷やしてしまいますわあああなんだか今夜のお前は妙にその色っぽいねえよあら最高の褒め言葉でピースんだバリアを上げてきたらそれが何の意味もなくて、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、なお、She had married Rudolf and held a rank in the Ushirimiya family. The Halloween party was an extremely relaxed affair. At a buffet party, you could enjoy the stylish atmosphere, but you would eventually get tired of it. At the time Rudolf and Peace came back, everybody had taken to couches and placed them in a circle, and were chatting and enjoying each other's company. <laughs> 皆様お椅子でくつろがれておりますがお二人の分もご用意いたしましょうかそうだな俺たちの分もいただけるかあとピースにはブランケットも頼むありがとうデピースルドルフさんは本当に女性には優しいデピースおいおい誤解するな俺が優しくする女は世界で一人しかいないそれはお前だぜピース<笑>あなたったらピース<笑> While laughing and smiling Peace fawned on Rudolf and gave him a few kisses on the lips Okay, this is just this is just fucked up Angie and Beller Like they are literally fuming at the imagery. Like I can smell the smoke coming from their heads here. Yare, yare. Naka no ee kote. Batra kun tachi wa mada o shabiri o shite iru? Ah. Ore tachi wa wakamono da kara na. Ikura demo shabatte iru ze. It was frustrating, but the Peace version of Bella was unable to see through Peace's magic. His memory of the world that meant Kiria would be completely replaced with the word peace. いや、これは記憶を書き換えたなどという名前優しいものではないかもしれぬ。何人かの記憶に干渉するだけなら、洗脳や催眠術と変わりはない。でも、この魔女のそれは違うわ。ああ、この力は。Federin Augustus Awawawawawawawara. The witch who had sent peace was a top ranking witch. 
you know, speaking of ow ow ow, like uh, barking like a dog. You look at the uh, Federin slash uh, Hachijo Ikuko, and yeah, somebody would go uh, bark bark at her. I mean, have you seen her lately? Auga, am I right? <laughs> okay. Her power is that she could look down the road as if it were a storybook and freely rewrite and interfere with it. Yeah. I guess in that sense it makes sense now that Featherin is her master. Peace's power is not as simple as swallowing Kitty, taking her place and making Rudolph believe that she was his wife. Peace's power to swallow anything from the world and replace it with herself was a power very similar to Featherin's. おまぬけの喋り方をしていますってピースから。センチ昭和ロクロネコやら超パーやら。その程度に類する魔女だろうとお思いになられていたでしょうが。スーパーフェイクペイプウィッチ。言論員の魔女すらもその程度呼ばわ
Although... <sighs> Damn it. Like, what if, what if it's true, though? That like, there was actually a challenge before, like, say, Balor. Like, there was a... Ch there was actually a challenger before, like, Balor, Angie, and Beato were challenging, say, Ben Castello or Erika, and Peace swallowed them, and now it's just her. Blech. Scared? No. They wouldn't show any feelings, and wouldn't even realize anything had happened. Yeah, that's true. And the two people who were left would think there had only been two people from the beginning. And that only two people have challenged peace. Hmm. I guess... Well, now that I think about it... Maybe peace's powers are not exact. Maybe she doesn't have to always switch places with someone. Like, she can just erase Bella, for example, without switching places with him. If she wanted. Hmm. Like, before, you could have said that, oh, she has to switch places with someone in order for, us, for this to work. Otherwise, she can't just point her finger at somebody, eat them, and then stay the same. Like, for example, stay as Kiria afterwards. But, hmm, I don't know. Peace <laughs> Bato's manner of speaking to Peace had clearly changed. Beller and Angie were still unable to loosen their clenched fists on their knees. わらわたちの艦隊の仕方が尺に触られたならば謝ろうぞ。ただ、わらわたちは戦略で品がない。これ以上行儀よくする方法を知らぬ。敬意が大事なのでピース。<笑> 皆々様の知る限りの最高の敬意が示されるのであれば私も寛大になれるというものでピース。Here's my respect. Thump. Beller, Engine Battle all crossed their legs in unison, as if to show that they were all on the same page. However, it was the opposite of an elegant gesture as they were too careless when they crossed them. <laughs> well, that's a funny image. Might as well cross your arms too while at it. Like, at the same time. Peace wasn't able to understand what happened in front of her, and put like, sunglasses on them as well, and forgot to even close her mouth. Eh? Right now, those three people finally understood my terribleness. And improve their behavior? Huh? これ以上、行業を良くするのにも疲れたからよ。そろそろ、こっちも楽にさせてもらっていいかい? It is a very interesting concept, like, very creative method of kidding. Like, the ramifications are endless for what could happen. But, you know, our resolve is just as endless. <laughs>せっかくお越しのお客が精一杯頑張ってるんだから私たちも少しは接待してあげようと思ってたけれどもう限界。at their limit. Of what emotion? Anger? It sure alleviates the boredom. あなたどうして笑われてるのか自覚ないのまさかあなたこんなにも恐ろしい力を持っているのだからさぞやすくみ上がって恐れ敬ってくれるに違いないなんて思ってるんじゃないわよねなあ、for real 
As I said before, I have solved a case like this like a while ago. It was like a morning breeze. And this fight, it'll be no different. Bozai. That was right. But if that was the case, why was she finding it so funny? あの、ビビッと。The analogy seemed to hit its mark, and Mela burst out laughing. なあ、その果ての果てに徹底的に削り出していたった水量、コッパ未人に打ち砕かれた時だけだ。確かに、この度の存在ごと丸のみする力は面白い。稀な客人がせっかく用意してくれた土産だ。それに敬意を表し、恐れいった
<laughs> My sweet little baby. You just had to choose her next. Just to piss me off, peace. どうしたんじゃ。なんだよ、急に。お兄ちゃん。この人お母さんじゃない。おう。わ。何を言い出すんだ、急に。あらあら。エンジェったら。お眠なの。お母さんがわからなくなっちゃった。あんた。誰後ろ見やピースお母さんでしょエンジェを産んだお母さんじゃないうん <laughs> peace you're supposed to act as kirie not eva remember only eva would mourn like that i mean jesus you really did sound like her for a split second there huh Snap. Crunch. Fuck. No. My sweet baby. Hey, <laughs> Rudolph-san. <sighs> All right, well. Bye-bye. Sweet baby Angie. We'll see you next time. Hmm? Nanda? Batra-kun ni kawaii imoto o tsukutte agetara. But, hmm, okay. So Angie did this, see something suspicious right over there. I wonder if it has something to do with the quantity of magic. Hmm. Without love, he cannot be seen. With love, you can definitely see a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oi, oi. Which of piece of shit? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh my god, okay, so I was right. Peace doesn't always have to replace the character that they are eating. Like, she is still Kirie, even if Angie is now erased. Hmm. Okay. So it's not gonna be entirely like that previous case I mentioned. Yeah. I guess we'll have to see. Unless... Hold on a second. Unless we're talking about some form of limitation right over here, like, hmm, okay, for example, you're gonna have, you are able to replace somebody, but only if you are in disclosed, like, disclosed, um, like, in a very hidden area where it's just the two of you, yeah, in a similar fashion to murder, like, you cannot just uh, replace somebody in, like, the middle of the hall with 50 other people. And so, nah, that's, that's one. And two, um, I, like, I, I get the feeling that maybe there's a limit to how many people she can, uh, change, like, at a time. Like, maybe she could replace herself with Angie, but she couldn't for some other reason. Other than just, uh, you know, uh, doing so in a closed area. うん。お前が可愛い一人娘だったら毎日トンボ帰りで俺は肝臓を痛めずに済んでたろうよ。ははは、黙れ、不健康おやじ。食われた上に忘れ去られる。我が身になって改めてとんでもない力だと思い知る
our end goal would be to figure out the like the culprit in this if that's the end goal that is otherwise i feel like the setup and rules like they will be drastically different here like if i am to apply a more human approach to this like there are like two free options like two or three options or something like that one would be that someone keeps murdering people and that same person is disguising themselves as their previous victim to intermingle with the humans yasu they are good at being multiple people but like realistically speaking there is a range to it like there is a limit to it like you cannot be a fully grown up adult and a child therefore i guess it makes sense to think that peace cannot realistically switch places with a six-year-old baby if that culprit is capable of switching with people it would have to be with those of similar stature like Eva or Nazi or like who knows maybe some of the adults like Rudolf if you change your hair and suit maybe Maria nah probably not possible so yeah that is a case uh, yeah, there you go. Beatrice is asking an important question here. Like, I guess she's thinking that Peace cannot use her power on Angie now that she chose not to use it. Hmm. Oh yeah, also, like, the second option would be, like, with a device. A technologically advanced apparatus that switches, like, you know, people's brains and such. Like... Imagine an egg. If you have it, imagine an egg. Okay, wait, okay. give me a second. Give me a second. Let me get there. Let me imagine an egg. Hold on. Yum! Like, right. Um, Like, imagine an egg. The, the yolk is taken out of the egg with the white still left inside. Now do the same with the second egg and now you switch the yolks. The first yolk goes into the second egg while the second yolk goes into the first. That's the equivalent of the human consciousness and memories being switched between two people. The culprit captures a victim, puts them inside this machine, switches the mind, and murders the victim. Except, now the culprit is inside the victim's body, while the victim is inside the culprit's body. Like, that is another option. Would such an apparatus exist in the first place? I mean, we are inside of a side story that that is happening like after the main story has ended. Where the fuck would an apparatus like this even come from? It would have to have been foreshadowed in like the episodes and such. And it surely hasn't been foreshadowed in this one yet. We haven't really talked about technology, so yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Determine the identity. Okay, well, if we are going with option one, it is someone that can disguise themselves as Kiri like really well, and therefore could disguise themselves with people of similar stature. Like similar physique. Ikanimo. Wara no game bandewa. 
魔女幻想を打ち破ることを求めさらにその上で「私は誰?」というもう一つの答えを求めたピース今回のゲームでは魔女幻想を打ち破ることは義務ではないのよねお前の出した問いは「私は誰?」の一点だけ。本当にその一点だけなんだなだったならお前の見せる魔女幻想通りの能力を持ったウィッチ・オブ・ザ・ピースという文字通りのお前が犯人ってことで決着できちまうぞ<笑>期待しない方向で無意味に議論が広がっては私も我が主も退屈してしまいますなのでせめて迷宮の入り口までくらいはちゃんと道案内をするのがフェアだと考えますでははっきりと赤で宣言させていただきましょうこのゲームの目的は私が誰かを当てることのみ、okay. ファンタジーの否定肯定は問題にしませんならば最もシンプルに切り込もうぞ青で宣言するそなたはピースウィッチ・オブ・ザ・ピースであるもちろんそんなわけもありません赤で宣言します私はエピソード1からエピソード8までの間に存在しているありえないエピソード1フレイトアパーソン人間を丸飲みして存在ごと消し去るなんて人物は一度だって登場したことはないわそれとも登場時にもその力を持っていたがそれを一度も披露したことがないということなのか Or like if we're talking about this in a meta way Like, if we're talking about humans specifically, like, when you say someone who has existed, is it someone that has made an actual physical appearance in the events of Rokenjima? Or the events in the future? Or does it include those who have only been named? Because, for example, we have Asumu. The hmm, like the time at which this red truth was made, it is 4th of October. Like, at this point, Asumu is no longer alive, like, she doesn't exist, but she did exist previously, and she does exist as a character in this story. The character of Asumu exists in Yumineko, so hmm. その認識で構いませんエピソード1からエピソード8の中に存在しその時点でもこの力を持っていました今回我が主によってそれを初めて披露することとなったにすぎませんだったらさらに質問したいわということはこの人物はまあ待てエンジェよまだ事件は続くと思われるピース教の手の内が全てさらされてからでも質問は遅くあるまいそれもそうねでお母さんと私が殺されて存在もなかったことにされ次は誰がひょっとして六軒島の全員がぶっ消されちまって私は誰であの時のベアトと全く同じ答えが正解ってことになるんじゃねえだろうないいやそれはあるまいすでに赤にてエピソード1からエピソード8までの間に登場している一人の人物であると断言しているピース続けてちょうだいもちろん早送りで無論でピース続いては私の同席に。金蔵やベアとそして魔法に通じる使用人たちが気づき戦いになるというシーンでピース本当
ならば金蔵の凄まじき召喚術やベアとの協力な大魔法シャノンやカノンの家具の力そしていよいよベーロを脱ぐ源氏の魔法バトルなどが繰り広げられることとなっています。Damn it. Like, I want to see, I want to see all that. Can we? ですが、早送りを希望とのことでございますので、そのようにさせていただきますでピース。えぇ、ー、わらわの見せ場がカットかよ。つまんねえ。確かにな。考えてみりゃ。ゲンジさんって幻想世界でもかなり強そうな雰囲気があったのに一度もバトルシーンがなかったんだよな。Well, we had or no e n But I guess so, yeah. We've seen Shannon and Kanon fight. Like, we could have seen Genji too. And for that matter, k u m a s a as well. <laughs> Actually. It kind of makes me think of that one moment from the earlier episode when Genji was in the kitchen and he saw a butterfly and he basically butchered that, that butterfly in one fell swoop. <laughs> That's the only moment that we can think of that is as close to, that is close to us seeing him fight. That and like the last moments of Kanon and Shannon, like. In the study room in episode 3, when, when they were fighting the demons. <laughs> As you wish, I'll fast forward past the charades and the garbage delusions. Alright. But. As a replacement, we are gonna fight, like, in the end. Like, I, I wanna see you get punched as well. Peace. Peace, an intruder from another realm who has blended into a Shirumiya fell. Although they couldn't prevent her invasion, Kinzo and Battle defected. Kinzo and Dato detected here because of a slight feeling of discomfort. Kinzo and Dato, as well as Genji, Shana, and Kano, confronted a witch from another world who claimed the name Peace Ushiromiya. However, while they realized Peace was an uninvited guest from another world, they didn't really realize that there have already been two sacrifices. Both Kiri and Ushirumiya, and Ushirumiya, and Anji Ushirumiya have already been erased from this world, as well as the fact that they existed. When a powerful foreign body tries to unilaterally alter the world, or just a fragment, it triggers a defensive antibody reaction. But even then, it is difficult to fully convince them that peace, Ushirumiya, was an enemy. The strong barrier would alert them to any visitors from a different fragment, alerting them to her. However, as everybody faced off against Peace, they recognized her as a familiar relative, Peace Sushirumiya. Dato immediately saw through this intense sense of discomfort. He was a pest with the power to devour an opponent's existence and all choices of their story. <laughs> よくぞ。私の力を見抜いたものです。でも見破れるのはそこまでですよね。こいつは何を言っているんだ。カノ君、私たちは今こうして5人で立ち向かっているけれど、本当に5人だと思う。In addition to Shannon and Kano, there could have been one more servant with the on sound in their name. Another one with the on in their name? Oh shit! 
Could it be one of the other servants? Runon? Huh. Had somebody just been sacrificed as a lesson? Nani. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Before we continue with this, maybe we should go over the definition and, like, you know, the number of people on this island again. Maybe we should go through that again. <laughs><笑>言われてみればそうであるな。しかし、対価として金貨の一枚も与えてくれぬとは、実に決の力であるぞ。これは黄金の魔法と同じでもあるのかファンタジーを否定するのならばそれで説明するのが一番手っ取り早いであろうな嫌な話ね六歳の娘が初めから存在しないっていう茶番に両親と兄がいくらもらって付き合ったのそれも
ヒーデピースこれで邪魔者はいなくなりましたのでピーでもそろそろ楽しかったハロウィンパーティーもお開きですねシオ兄さんかわいそう郷田さんと熊沢さんの2人だけで後片付けになっちゃいまピだからねルピンアカップルサーヴァンツウシーヘンシンビフォー、マテリアライズド、ビゲン、クリニングアップ・デマス。シンシーエイト、フリーヴァーサーヴァンツ、ゲンジー、シャンアンアカン。シーファーヴァーサーヴァンツウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。ウォーヘンアディフィカルタイムトナイト。Everybody was smiling. Nobody was sad. It was a night full of happiness for all.